I'll miss you every minute. Oh, every second. Hold it, hold hmm. it. They've gone. Save it for the elevator. Oh. Uh. In 1936, Gene Harlow and William Powell were not only two of Hollywood's biggest stars, but one of Hollywood's biggest couples. Everyone knew that they would end up married. That was Gene Harlow's most fervent hope. Do I want to get married? What do you think? Unfortunately, no one knew that Gene Harlow had only months to live and would die at the age of 26. Well, this certainly looks married. A little too married to suit me. Huh? She had contracted scarlet fever as a teenager, and that had led to a strep infection. By 1936, she was in the final stages of kidney failure and had several ailments which she couldn't explain even to herself. For the first time in my life, I'm scared. Now, baby, take it easy. You've been here before. This isn't new to you. In this never-before-seen letter, written to William Powell on October 9th, 1936, Jean Harlow even discusses her poor state of health without realizing how severe and fatal it was. Dearest Poppy, just a note to apologize for the mix-up at the St. Francis. I know you were upset. After the Thin Man went to San Francisco for location shooting, which necessitated the presence of the stars William Powell and Myrna Loy, Gene Harlow wanted to accompany William Powell, but in 1936, movie stars who were unmarried did not travel together. So when they arrived at the St. Francis Hotel in San Francisco, the registration clerk assumed that Gene Harlow and Myrna Loy were rooming together, and Gene Harlow couldn't tell them that wasn't the case. So they ended up rooming together. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Bill's told me so much about you. He told you about me? <laughs> Everything turned out for the best, though. Myrna and I had a grand time being girls together. She's really a thousand times sweeter than expected, and you got plenty of rest. Besides that, it looks like you have another hit on your hands. Everyone at the studio thinks it's a swell picture, and that includes me. The movie Gene Harlow mentions in this letter is After the Thin Man, which William Powell and Myrna Loy were shooting at the time. I wish I felt better these days, more like my old self, but I guess that will get better in time. I think all I really need is you. I hope you agree. There's a real poignancy to this letter and a window into Jean Harlow's emotional state, how helplessly in love she was with William Powell, but also how she didn't feel well. Anyway, a thousand kisses and a million hugs, me. It's amazing this letter surfaced because it's such a window into Jean Harlow's character, the nobility, the kindness, the sensitivity. It really shows us who she was and it's so different from the person we see on screen. This gets the blue ribbon trying to marry me off to that, to that bad boon. Sir, let's not deal in personalities. Jean Harlow's death devastated William Powell. The photographs of him at her funeral, he's crying so hard his whole body is shaking. And after she died, he had a complete physical and emotional breakdown, and he would never discuss Jean Harlow ever again. You are a strange egg. I bet you say that all the boys. It'd be wonderful to think that Jean Harlow and William Powell married and lived happily ever after, like an MGM movie, but the truth was, there's no way she could have survived. She had a fatal illness that could not be cured then. She was doomed. You know, I'm gonna miss you. I'll miss you too. You're a swell kid, Gladys. You're not such a cluck yourself. 